What's up guys? My name is Rick. And my name is Kel. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel, channel, Rick and Kel. Kel. Good morning guys. Unfortunately today we are going to leave the Pineapple Express. Have some really nice days here and some really nice days in Pushkar itself. We've been here for Holi and now it's time for our next destination which will be Kathmandu in Nepal. But of course, since we're by motorbike, it's not possible for us to drive it in one, one go. So we'll be first going to Jaipur, afterwards to Agra, afterwards to Lucknow, and after that we're going to stop in a small town in Nepal, and after that <laughs> we'll be in Kathmandu. So it's going to be a really, really long journey, with like five to seven hours a day of driving. I think we're going to be really really tired as soon as we get there but of course we'll keep you guys posted so you can uh, see a bit of our journey. See you in Kathmandu. We arrived at the uh, Mustache Hostel back in Jaipur again. Um, the drive was very relaxed, it took about three hours to go from Pushkar to Jaipur. Um, he is asleep, I think he just woke up and um, tomorrow we have a long journey ahead of us because we're going to Agra. So now we've been on the road for two hours and we're halfway there. 120 more kilometers and we will be in Agra. In Agra we're gonna sleep at the zigzag hostel where we were before and then we're going to continue our journey towards Nepal. What just happened is that Calvin's motor doesn't want to start anymore and we're in the middle of nowhere which really sucks so we don't know what to do once we finished or once we found a solution we will uh, give you an update so it might be the spark plug we didn't we didn't know what a spark plug was then we opened the here the battery apparently this is the spark plug we open it he took something out blow on it put it back and now it is and now it's working once again. So we can go back on the road. We're happy it's working again. See you guys later. Hey guys, so we uh, just made it back to the zigzag hostel in Agra. So you might see by my face and my clothing was quite a tough ride. First I was super nice, but then the bike broke down as you could see in the video before. Luckily, I was able to fix it myself without needing any me mechanic or somebody to fix it. So I'm very happy about it and also very happy to be back in Agra at the Zigzag Hostel. Last time we've been here we didn't really show you around the place so this time we're gonna do a different and give you a small tour throughout our hostel. So come with me and take a look. So right now we are on our way to uh, to Lucknow. We have a small break. The way to Lucknow is a very nice one on the road because it's actually um, it's an expressway, so we can go about like an average maybe 190 kilometers an hour. So so it's actually going faster than uh, than we thought. Right now, Kelvin is uh, waiting in line to get some food, and then we're going to continue. So I keep you posted. <laughs> So 30 more kilometers and we will be in Lucknow. Um, the trip here was kind of intense, but it was very nice as well because there's an expressway they built here. For the people watching in Europe here, it doesn't look like anything special, but these kind of roads are not very usual here in India. Usually they're of very bad quality and the, the, uh, the highest speed you can usually achieve on a road is about 80. So being able to like go very quickly, go, go to the next stop um, quicker. Uh, so the, the ability to go to your next stop quicker is, is, is a very positive thing. 
Um, so yeah. And not so much traffic, that's the best. Oh yeah, not a lot of traffic at all. All the people, the entire time, people honking, cows, dogs, everything on the road here is just us and the road. And yeah. yeah, it's nice to drive like that. And we also see the climate changing. I mean, like a couple, of, a couple of days ago, we were still in the desert and now everything's already green. And we're expecting that once we're in Nepal, that the scenery is going to be epic. So this is it for now. About 30 kilometers, we will be in Lucknow. See you later. Good morning, guys. Um, yesterday, we arrived here in Lucknow. At night we had something to eat. I took some passport pictures because uh, apparently we need those at the border of Nepal. Right now we're going to the next stop. I keep on forgetting the name because it's a very long name, but it's right next to the border uh, on the Nepalese side. Apparently we can't get our apparently good morning, Helen. Uh, apparently we can't get our Indian money into Nepal, so we and we have about a hundred euros worth of Indian money, so. We have to find a way to solve that. So that's gonna be our next challenge. The trip to the border is going to take about six hours according to Google Maps, which Seven. means, oh, yeah, six, six I think. Which means that for us, it's gonna take about eight to nine. So we'll keep you posted and see you later. Hello friends. So it's 3.30 now, we've been driving quite some hours today. However, we're very close to the border now, it's just 65 kilometers left. So let's hope everything goes right at the border and they don't, I don't know, make up any stuff to make it more difficult for us. I'm a bit tired, and how about you? Senior Rick? I'm not tired at all. <laughs> this looks a bit tired. I think we're also super dark from driving all the, all the time in the sun. Yeah, and I've been rubbing my black hands on my face, so I've got some black spots. Yeah, pretty intense, but it's worth it. And as you can see, I'm getting more trouble. It's getting very tropical. See you in Nepal, hopefully, if we get in. I guess uh, we just drove into Nepal without anyone stopping us so we're not very sure what to do at the moment but here's an office called the immigration office so we're gonna check if this is the, the place we need to go we will uh, keep you informed yes guys so we're finally in Nepal but it was really really hard to get here uh, last time you saw us was when Kelvin made a video by the border then we were still very optimistic because we actually just came across the border without any troubles but then we needed to do, go to the immigration office and then the trouble started yes <laughs> because we needed to get a stamp to leave India so we need to go to the Indian immigration then which was fine which was fine that went very quickly then we need to pay at the immigration in Nepal with American dollars, US dollars, which we did not have. Then there was this one guy who said he was the only guy where we could exchange them. Then I'm sure he ripped us off, but that's a different thing. But then we finally exchanged our dollars for a horrible rating. Then we had to go to the Nepali office. Then all of a sudden, about 50 Korean people start walking in, which uh, took some time. So then finally we could do it. Still took some time again. And then, <coughs> We had to do the registration of our motorcycle. Yeah, which was a hassle as well. First, a guy spoke with me and he was like, we can only get a like a permit for seven days for a bike maximum. And we had to go to Kathmandu for another seven days. And each time we only could extend it by seven days, but he was sure, he was like, I'm the guy, I can arrange this for you, so follow me. So we did that, followed him, and he arranged a 29 days permit for our bikes but like 
We went to his office first, then he led us to another office, and then we're back back again to his office and like back and forward all the time, taking about an hour. So you can imagine how tired we were after all this hassle the entire day and after driving for such a long time of course. So that's why we didn't film the end of our day yesterday. We went to this lovely hostel. You can show it to the group. Where we've been today the entire day. Editing the video, which you guys will see tomorrow, but yeah, it doesn't really make sense now, of course. <laughs> That's basically what we did. Today we had some food and we did some editing. Not yeah. Especially resting. Resting. For a day tomorrow, which we'll be driving to Kathmandu. Kathmandu. Another seven hours on the motorbike. And we will meet our friend Sunny there. Yes, nice. Which That's you know from previously. See you guys later. This brings us to the end of today's video. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.